I don't pretend to know exactly how our civilization will fall, but what I do know is that when it happens, the robots will surely be behind it. I've written many letters to the scientists at Bongle about this subject, but what do I get back? An automated response. I'm sorry, listeners, but it's already too late. Let's just try and vibe it out. Rubbish shouldn't be placed in bins. Is that too complicated for you? it out themselves. Welcome in, it's DJ Shorts on Campus Radio, keeping it short and keeping it sweet. On today's show, I'll be telling you the six ways to get the most out of your winter coat. But first, let's cook up something tasty in the music microwave. If you cannot handle the heat, what are you doing in me kitchen? Let's go! Please put your pencils down. Only kidding. Thank you. 
university gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. What is wrong with people? I saw this guy wearing a Bureau Cats t-shirt the other day, man. Uh, great show, great show. So I go up to him and I say, Meowza! And he just stands there, staring at us, like I'm the mad one. Listen, fella, if you didn't recognize a quote, let alone a classic from season two, episode 12, the Admiral Fuzzy Knickers All Nighter, then you didn't get to wear the t-shirt. He's a song for people who do know their quotes. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. And now, here's another student story about a little supermarket that could becoming a little supermarket that's closed. Cue over to you. 
Over the years, Crumley Supermarket has fed countless students all over Two Point County. None more than Crumley's flagship store, right here in Duckworth. Sadly, no amount of coupons or discount fish is going to save the store this time. No, after failing their third inspection of the week, this much-visited market will be closing its doors. As I sit here, riding the mechanical pig one last time, I can't help but think of all of the good times. The end of an era, that's for sure. Announcement. The timetable is now live. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Announcement. Plants need water. Remember? Get some gubbiny grub in your gob with cheesy gubbins. The essence of cheese. Ch -ch 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 gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. You know you want to. Students are reminded that some of you are doing better than others. Thank you. 
announcement. Shouldn't you be working? In today's show, some of you have got in touch to ask how you can have really cool original opinions like mine. So I'm going to tell you about a little technique that I like to call plain devil's advocate. What you do is you take a popular, universally agreed upon opinion and flip it on its head. Boom! You've got yourself a really cool original opinion. Take toilets. You might think they're great, necessary even. Whereas I think they're a little passive. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. will make you look stupid. are reminded that school spirit is infectious. Go us.
Staff are reminded that you may be fired at any time. Thank you. the longer you've been revising. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man and his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
students are reminded to apologize to the janitorial staff. I'm sure you've done something. world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Milkshakes are not an appropriate breakfast. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. Students are reminded to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will?
smell my cash. Being a student is hard enough. <laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell my cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problems. Janitor required in bathroom. questions, yes. Classes are technically optional, and so is failing. are reminded to make us proud. A huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? The academic year is now over. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking.
butt ended sandwiches will be eaten by me. was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volleyball is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. 
but at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner! If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Transferable. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on.
listeners are reminded to be constantly upbeat. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. you're just getting up or just getting in it's sure to be difficult i'm felicity bellbottoms and you're listening to campus radio where we try and make whatever you're doing a little bit easier and a little bit noisier morning some announcements are closer than they appear thank you
Parents are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Student protests continued to rage in the music college at Mitten today. Asked for their thoughts, feelings or demands, one student had this to say. I don't know really. Someone told me we're waiting to see an enormous bassoon. Is that not right? More on that curious bassoon later in the show. Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Questions. No, you can't have an extension. It's time for a review of the most popular cartoon on campus. Yes, that's right, the Bureaucats. <laughs> This week, I'm reviewing the Bureaucats. Yesterday, Mittens, the cat, found an outrageously obscure bylaw just in time to delay a civil case another 10 weeks. Now, I don't understand the justice system 
at all, but I do understand drama. And those cats have it. Five cat paws out of a possible five. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Whoa, is that? It can't be! New from Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. There's a fly in here. Asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Hey, 
Futurism is not a belief system. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. we actually have a follow-up on the story of the enormous bassoon. It seems as though the crowd have got their hands on an inflatable and, indeed, enormous bassoon. I'm a little lost for words, if I'm perfectly honest with you listeners. Was this planned all along, or was it sourced after our segment aired? Just so many questions. They'll have to wait, I suppose. Until next time, I've been Felicity Bellbottoms, speechless on Campus Radio. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. Congratulations. Research project complete.
We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever. you've taken your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf show here on Two Point Radio and it's going to be a wild ride. Yo yo and hello. It's Harrison Wolf coming at you with the dulcet sounds of the underground. We've got a good one for you today. 
But first, I should probably turn some lights on. Fully enlightened radio, coming up next. Students are reminded to find themselves. A lot of people ask me, Harrison, what can I do to be more subversive? And I say, first things first, you gotta throw out that question. There's nothing less punk than asking for instructions. You gotta take out the toy, burn the manual, and use the box to make yourself a groovy fort. That being said, today I'll be dishing out some details on how to be a more subversive you. Unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Thank you. 
to be in two places at once. Breakfast is a concept. You think it's real, but it's just another lesson taught to you by the man in an attempt to structure your day. That's why when I wake up, I like a big bowl of pasta and a tall lemonade. Take that establishment. Frequently asked questions? Yes. Classes are technically optional, and so is failing. Jasmine. Odyssey. 
how do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents Even More. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. are reminded that you're letting everyone down.
clothes are a great way to express your individuality. Some people go to a lot of effort, and I can dig that. There was a time when the Wolfman spent a lot of time on his outwardness. But that all changed when I accidentally put on mismatched shoes the morning after a party, and the compliments started rolling in. I've gotten dressed in the dark ever since. Just you, the void, and something that could be a sleeve or a trouser leg. Live dangerously, my dudes. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush.